since it's a boring quarter time, I can't go out for buying the stuffs for future projects. So I think of making a project with a basic items like capacitors, transistor. And the first thing came to my mind is a coil gun, and which I have an idea of making it a lot earlier. I hope no completed it and just say how it's in the comment. So let's get into the video. And I will also explain the science behind the stuff very clearly up to my level best. If you and I want to say an important thing that if you didn't subscribe to the channel, just subscribe it down and hit the notification to all so that you can get all the notifications or you can get a message when we are uploading the video and you can see it in the first row. So let's get into the video. First we are going to make the body of the gun. For that I have chosen wood because it's, it will give us a grip to handle and it will not be broken easily as like plastic or any cardboard. We are going to tie both the pieces with the help of small lines and the hammer. I have made this outlook a very simple one so that it won't take much time and we can have more time to make the circuit. Now guys we are going to make the air prominent which is capable of pulling the bullet at very high speed. For that I am taking a waste pen and a few copper enamel copper waste of 3 meters. Just remove this rubber from it and we can start winding there itself because it's such a platform. It has a depth and it's now completed. Just attach it to the gun and take a 5 volt tooling which is going to act as a controller for this project. And uh, how to make a whole spot need to place the or really inside it so that I am mounting it. Once the work of marking is completed, it's time for our rolling machine to drill holes there and just check whether the holes are correctly done and start wiring. Just join one end of the coil to the commonly open pin of the relay and other three wires can use it later. Just choose relay of 10 microfarad not more power is necessary just make a hole for it too and these two pins are going to connect it to the relay input pins so we, are, we want to use a trigger or a switch to control the firing i am using a push button to control the firing and i have just placed the switch in between the capacitor Now we are making a trigger switch for charging the capacitor because the capacitor cannot always be charged. If it's always charged, there is no use of capacitor there. And I'm going to make a trigger that looks like a normal pistol. It is not necessary that you have to follow my same instructions. If you wish, you can, without doing the steps, you can directly charge a capacitor and take over, take over the wires when we are firing. So now take two aluminum strips and connect wire to it. And with the help of a fake kick or any other instant loop, just paste it down. Just connect both the recent touch it doesn't touch with each other this is the aluminum foil I am using it just to make a establish a contact between these uh, two strips just just make uh, one like this and you have to make two like this and just, just place it over here and now paste more strips also I will not want to explain it very clearly you have to just paste it over there and that's all it's poor you can see that whenever I press on the top it gets contact and the capacitor will be charged and if I take the but uh, my finger up the capacitor will not be charged so it's a very simple mechanism so I don't want to explain it more on here now is a final touch 
should be given to the coil gun just join this twice to the flex of the capacitor make sure they should not be shorted or should not touch each other now we are going to connect both with these output pins I have connected this with the output pins and we are going to connect it with 25 volt power supply or you can give a series of capacitors this is 4700 cap microfarad capacitor and the other two are 400 and 1200 respectively and if you have a straight away 6000 or 7000 high voltage capacitors is far better than connecting it in parallel like this so how to choose a 25 volt power supply with the power multimeter i'm going to check it out how many voltages are coming up coming from it you can see that it's approximately 23 28 so it's approximately 25 so don't uh, no need to worry so i'm going to use this drill bits as my bullet for my coil gun let's check how it's working now i have attached a small piece of magnet in the front of it since it get you can see that it get attached to the aluminum sheet that's it guys we came to the end of your video you have if you have any doubts just comment it down and if you have a friend like me who has an interest towards such kind of project then share this video to him and if you have any doubts or have any future ideas of making projects just comment it down we will make it and upload it in our channel and it's time to say goodbye and stay safe at home see you soon in another video this is creative crackers not on someone and i am akashua signing off Ding -dong.